Welcome back. And joining me live in the studio is Jim Collette with He's the president of the Midland Historical Society. Jim, welcome. Thanks so much for being in our studio. Glad to be here. And so I hear that you have an exhibit that you're here to talk about this morning, and I'd love to learn more about what that is. Okay. We have an exhibit on Midland during World War II mm -hmm. uh, based on uh, copies of historic photos we have and reproductions of actual papers from the Midland Reporter Telegram during those years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, how big of a deal is this to, to have an exhibit feature these things out here? Well, uh, we're a volunteer organization and a small museum, and mm -hmm. we're trying to kind of restart the museum from just a collection of things. And so this is our first opportunity to really try to put on a professional type exhibit here. And uh, I don't think anything's really been done. This is the only time the middle of Odessa area was ever really a military town. Okay. Uh, so, and of course, World War II is a special time, you know, the great generation and mm -hmm. all that. So I think it's a special chance to see a little different look at middle of Odessa than the oil industry that we always think about. Although oil is very important, uh, Texas was the major producer of oil uh, in the United States during World War II. Wow. Okay, that's so interesting. I'm new out here as well. Okay. I've only been here a little more than a year, but mm -hmm. um, World War II, I mean, we've seen movies about it. Mm -hmm. We learn about it in history class, but mm -hmm. to have that local tie, especially with the West Texas, right. um, I feel like that's so impactful, especially mm -hmm. when a lot of people living out here have served sure. in the military. Um, and so what can people expect in these exhibits? What's, mm -hmm. What are some of the more interesting um, facts that you'll have and artifacts maybe? Well, of course, the, the, the main central feature is, of course, that the uh, airport was a bombardier school during the war. Okay. And so we have a lot of the military photos, that kind of promo photos that they took during that time. We also found uh, an eight millimeter film, runs about eight or nine minutes okay. in color. Uh, so we actually have a little motion picture that people haven't seen, I guess, in decades. Uh, that we've gotten digitized and it's running. We have audio from the, the 40s, uh, old songs, mm -hmm. uh, clips of broadcasts. And then we have movie trailers of the movies that ran in Midland during those years. Wow, and so how large is this exhibit going to be? Well, we have two exhibit halls there, and so it's in okay. one of those halls. It's, it's not a huge exhibit in terms of a big size, but mm -hmm. uh, it, there's quite a bit in there, a lot of newspapers. So uh, you can go through and kind of get a quick feel for it, or you can really take time to, to dig into those newspapers and, and learn a lot of, uh, get a feel for what it was like right. to live there. And uh, a little bit before this interview, I asked you how long this exhibit has been running for. Mm -hmm. You said this is the first time yes. it'll be running. And so how, how does it make you feel, I guess, to be a part of um, putting all this together and making it come to reality? Well, we're very excited because we're in a new space and a, a new area. So our opening reception is Friday night from 5.30 to 7.30. Okay. And then our regular hours will be Thursday through Saturday from uh, 11 to 4. Perfect. Uh, so and are there tickets for this event or no, can people go free? No, it's free admission. There is no charge for the museum. We'd love wow. to have donations. We're a volunteer organization, as I okay. said, uh, but there is no charge. The museum is always free. And so where can people go to find more information if they're interested in just learning more about what the exhibit's going to have to offer and the times again and mm -hmm. maybe any parking information they need to know of? The Historical Society has a Facebook, Midland Texas Historical Society. They can go there and get the information. Uh, we also have a website. They can go there. Uh, there is parking downtown that is free uh, all around the museum, so mm -hmm. there's no problem there, especially in the evenings. It's usually less uh, crowded there as, as the business is closed down. Uh, but those two places would be the best places to go. And final question, what are you most excited about showcasing in this exhibit? I think the film, I think seeing those actual real images, moving images, little bitty uh, flashes of Midland, uh, the base and, and the activities there and the mm -hmm. way people dressed, I think that's going to really give people a real uh, kind of little shiver to, to look back and, and see a, a real image like that. And see that it actually happened out mm -hmm. here. Yes, yes. Yeah, uh, it's all well, here. Thank you so much for being in our studio it's this morning. Pleasure. Such a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. It's my pleasure.